Hello, and welcome to the video on how to configure DHCP services for your Extreme Cloud Appliance Network. This video will outline how to install DHCP on a Windows 2012 R2 server and configure DHCP options for a centralized network. We will also configure vendor class identifiers for the AP510 access point. Once services are configured, APs and SA201 adapters will automatically discover Extreme Cloud Appliance. Deployment guides for both Defender for IoT and Extreme Cloud Appliance are available. Before we get started, configure a static IP address on the server. Plan your IP address range for network subnets, scopes, and exclusions. Let's get started on the Server Manager dashboard. We're going to add roles and features. The installation type is role-based, then select the server to install DHCP. For this video, we will select DHCP server. Often, you will be installing DNS and NPS along with DHCP. If that is the case, you will select all three options here. Click through the extra features. Click Install. To create a scope, go to Tools, DHCP. Expand the server and node. Right-click the node and select New Scope. Provide a name and description for your scope. Provide the IP address range for the DHCP server and the subnet mask of the DHCP client. From this dialog, you can add an IP address range that will be excluded from your larger scope. From the lease dialog, you can set up an expiration date for the IP address range. The range will expire if not being used. Now we will configure scope options. Click Yes. Provide an IP address for the default gateway and click Add. Provide the name of the parent domain. This is often your company domain. If you have DNS servers configured, they are listed here. Click Next. We will not configure WINS servers. Click Next. Here we will opt to activate the scope later. Click Finish. Now we will configure specific DHCP options that will be used with Extreme Cloud Appliance. Back at the DHCP dialog, expand the server and server node. Right-click IPv4 and select Set Predefined Options. From the Predefined Options dialog, the option class is DHCP Standard Options. Click Add. From the Option Type dialog, give the option a name. The data type is Byte and select the Array checkbox. The code is 78 for a centralized network. And provide a description. Select Edit Array and enter the IP address per octet. Configure Scope Options. Right-click Scope Options and select Configure Options. Select Option 78 at the bottom of the list then click Apply and OK. In the discovery process, the DHCP server returns vendor-specific information to the client. The AP requests vendor-specific information and the DHCP server sends the Extreme Cloud Appliance IP addresses in option 43 to the AP. The vendor class identifier for the Extreme Wireless AP510 is wing AP AP model number. To create this class, go back to the IPv4 server, right click and select define vendor classes, then click add. Provide a display name and description. Select the ASCII field and type wing AP AP510. The ID and binary values are populated. To configure the vendor class identifier, 
select IPv4 Set Predefined Options. Option class is now AP510. Click Add. Provide an option name, data type is string, code is 1, and provide an optional description. You have created the vendor class and sub-option type needed in order to support controller discovery. Now we will configure vendor class server options. Go to IPv4, Server Options, and select Configure Options. Select the Advanced tab. Select AP510 Vendor Class. In the Available Options column, select the AP510 option. Enter the controller IP addresses to return to the APs. This is a comma delimited list. DHCP option 43 is now configured. This option is available for all scopes that are configured in the DHCP server.